Hello and welcome to this podcast brought to you by the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. My name is Sandy and I'm the Executive Officer of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association and a cancer survivor. And my name is Malcolm, Chairman of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association and a former surgeon. In this podcast we want to talk about bowel cancer awareness and to help us with this we are joined by Heather Norman who is chairperson of Bowel Cancer Isle of Man and someone who has had bowel cancer herself and is very passionate about ridding residents of the island of the poo taboo. Thanks Malcolm. Bowel Cancer Isle of Man was set up primarily to raise awareness. We want to break the stigma and get everyone to talk about their bowel problems. Some of you listening may have felt the embarrassment that comes from the things we don't like to discuss. The things that worry us but we cannot talk about. The things we cannot bring ourselves to say to our partners, our family, or even our GP. Leave aside the pain or symptom for a moment. This is about whether you would feel comfortable simply starting a conversation about blood, poo, or bowel movements. It seems almost farcical that rather than have an embarrassing conversation, a person who has found an odd lump somewhere, or has had problems with their poo, could end up dying because their diagnosis comes too late. I have had conversations with people admitting that they should have sought help sooner, but they were too embarrassed. Their life was cut short because they felt they couldn't discuss their intimate anatomy with a person who discusses intimate anatomy every day, their GP. It wasn't their fault. We've been conditioned to feel that embarrassment. Have you ever been slow to seek help? And when eventually you were forced to by the pain, you were told your condition was quite common. Sadly, bowel cancer is the fourth most common cancer in the UK. However, it's the second most common cause of cancer death. It's bad enough having to deal with an illness that causes such havoc with your digestive system. But it's worse if taboos mean you feel isolated. We need to change our approach if people are not seeking help because they couldn't talk about poo. If we can get rid of this poo taboo, we will be able to improve the outcomes for bowel cancer patients everywhere. It is vitally important that you get to know your normal bowel habit so that you can recognise any change. In different individuals, this can range between three times a day or once every three days. Being open and willing to talk about what is going on with your bowels is key to early diagnosis in bowel cancer. The commonest early symptoms are a change in bowel habit that lasts three or more weeks, either going to the toilet more often or suffering from constipation, blood in your poo, or tummy or abdominal pain, or a lump in your tummy. Other symptoms may include extreme unexplained tiredness, unexplained weight loss, or feeling bloated or sick. Symptoms do not necessarily mean you have cancer. However, it's important you go to your GP. Don't be shy or ignore it. Twenty years ago I had the worst time I'd ever experienced when I started passing blood and mucus every day. I couldn't understand what was happening and despaired of what I could do to just make it go away. I was embarrassed to seek help and I spent days and nights hoping it would change. Eventually I realised that I needed to ask my GP for help. I was given support and understanding and the doctors and nurses never made me feel embarrassed. Diagnosed with bowel cancer I was treated and I'm here today to tell the story. There is also a good screening programme for bowel cancer, which has been shown to enhance survival of those who participate in it. Most bowel cancers start as warty growths called polyps. If left untreated, polyps can become cancerous. Polyps bleed when the top gets knocked off by material passing through the bowel, but screening can detect very tiny amounts of blood in the poo that we cannot see with the naked eye. Examination of the inside of the bowel with a telescope can visualise these polyps and also enable them to be removed before they become tumours. The Isle of Man Bowel Screening Programme involves taking a test at home, which can identify blood in your poo. Bowel screening is offered every two years on the Isle of Man to everyone aged 60 to 75. 80% of bowel cancer occurs in the over 60s age bracket. Anyone over 75 can request to take part in the screening programme free of charge by calling 0800 707 6060. Just tell them you live in the Isle of Man and would like a test kit. Simple. It's important that you are registered with a local doctor's surgery so that when you reach the correct age, you receive an invitation to take part in screening. 
you will initially receive a letter, followed by a test kit, in the post together with instructions on how to complete it and an envelope for its return to the laboratory for analysis. The test kits identify tiny traces of blood in samples. Regular screening can help detect polyps before they develop into cancer. A good tip is to place the kit beside the toilet, together with some disposable gloves and a container, and a pen to fill in the date, so everything is ready for use. It's very important to complete the kit, don't just ignore it, and make sure samples are taken on three separate dates. If you're not sure how, you can phone or text Bowel Cancer, Isle of Man, on 480973 or ring 0800 707 6060. Up to 30% of cases of bowel cancer are believed to be due to an inherited faulty gene. There are a number of known conditions, some of which, such as Lynch syndrome or familial adenomatous polyposis coli, can be tested for. The National Institute of Clinical Excellence and Health recommend that all patients presenting with bowel cancer should be screened for Lynch syndrome after appropriate counselling so that gene carriers in the family can be identified. This has been adopted on the island and already identified families who may be at increased risk of developing bowel cancer. Inherited cases tend to give rise to cancers at a younger age, even in adults in their 20s, and this appears to be on the increase. Outcomes in these cases are often poorer as individuals blame other simpler conditions for their symptoms and tend to present later. So it's very important if a member of your family has had bowel cancer, particularly if you have one or more close relatives, a parent, a brother or a sister, diagnosed with bowel cancer before the age of 45, or two close relatives under the age of 60, that you seek advice. Go and see your GP, who can arrange for you to see a specialist and possibly start screening at an earlier age. Now there are some important lifestyle changes that we may want to make to reduce our risk of developing bowel cancer, particularly by looking at what we are eating and drinking. Positive lifestyle choices include eating plenty of fibre from fresh fruit and vegetables every day, avoiding a diet high in red and processed meats, drinking plenty of water and fluids throughout the day, keeping within your alcohol limits and not smoking, keeping active with regular exercise such as walking for 20 minutes a day. Taking part in the bowel screening programme when offered is a very good positive step and of course talking to your doctor if you are concerned about any possible symptoms or family history. Let's recap on the possible early symptoms of bowel cancer. Change in bowel habit the last three or more weeks, blood in your poo, extreme unexplained tiredness, tummy or abdominal pain or a lump in your tummy, tiredness, unexplained weight loss or feeling bloated or sick. If you're concerned about any possible symptoms, talk to your GP. Your symptoms may be caused by another illness, but it's always best to get checked out and it's really important to get things checked as soon as possible. If your GP doesn't think your symptoms are serious enough to warrant further investigation, but the symptoms persist and you are still concerned, then go back to your GP again. You know your body better than anyone. As with all cancers, bowel cancer is easier to treat if it's diagnosed at an early stage. So if you'd like more information about bowel cancer, you can visit the Macmillan Cancer Information Centre, which is up at Nobles Hospital. You can phone them on 650735 or have a look at the website, which is macmillan.org.uk. Or of course, you can contact Bowel Cancer IOM at bowelcanceriom.com or you can call them on 480973. Thank you so much for listening.